Hey guys, JB Dolan here. JB Dolan here. JB Dolan here. Hey guys, Jay here. Hi guys, JB Dolan here. Well, that was weird. Um, yeah, 2020. It's been one hell of a year. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'd just like to say thank you for, uh, for the year that you guys have given us. Me, my friends, my family. The entire cast of the Soto Chronicles. Thank you for all the views, and thank you for 5.5 thousand subscribers. It means a lot to me, and I think I'd show off the end of the year with showing you how I took down my Napford set. It's just as simple as that. Roll the footage! Hi guys, it's JB Dolan here, and today we are going to be taking down... Today we are going to be taking down the Napford set. This is going to be a step-by-step -step process of how I took down the set and how I built it. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. So right now, a big point of taking down the set is to grab the bottom of the track from the track and lift it with the set. Now, to be honest with you, I have several different ideas. How I organize them though is very non-ethical, as you could say. Like, I don't say it's weird. I, I don't like packaging them in the right position. Um, so yeah, I don't pack it up in normal packaging like most people do. It would make more sense to do that, but recently I just chose to not do it for reasons beyond my own. I just have a discipline to organize how to do it, and so I just got that in mind. So first, literally what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and then we're going to get the other bottom. So the next one is where I put all the curves and stuff. So I forgot that I have uh, recently put the curves and stuff. So there we go. Also got ice blue too. Maybe I thought I'd do something in a lighter color too. Uh, also to go with that, I've got metallic gold and silver. I don't really use them, but this is where I keep all the um, the curves. Okay, so let's get into taking down the set. So quite literally, it's just as simple as this. What we do, what you have to do, is you gotta organize. Now I've got my steam uh, my steam team drawer here, which currently right now is missing engines one through. Yes, it's missing engines one through uh, one through five. Yes. That there, there. Here is Henry. We will put one here. Um, I've gone back to using the the uh, regular Gordon for a while. So yeah, hi. Um, let's take the blue tag. Line. I've been using um, the older board model for uh, recently, so we're just going to stick with that for a while. Um, because the other board model right now is going to be paired. Should be done soon. But we're going to take him, and he, he, he's got a new buffer on the front line. I cut off a, a buffer from an older Gordon and I stuck it on this Gordon. So therefore we have it. This is kind of me. So there's Gordon, Edward, Henry, uh, Thomas, Series Thomas. Uh, yes. Series Thomas, he's got a tap mark. Thank you, guys. Um, let's find James. So, yes, all the Northwestern railway engines are up and out of the way. Oh, come on. 
watch it. All the in our Now here we are. Um, some of the models I had brought out to showcase recently, I have put them over here. Just like the new Edward, which I will show you guys in We are going to take this. We are going to take Series Thomas. Um, or pre Thomas comes to breakfast, Series Thomas. Very much for more of your face. Something like that. Um, to grab your tail lamp and just put that right on you. There's your tail lamp, we'll put you there, we'll put you there, Timothy. Uh, Timothy number two, there's a third Timothy in here somewhere, yes there is. Couldn't figure out where, but I did. I'm gonna shove him in the back. We've got Barrett, oh, apparently there's an engine buffer in there. We've got Barrett, next is Allison, wherever she's at, there she is. Allison recently fucked up. And we've got Caitlin, where did I put the girl? I put her somewhere. Um, let's move the paper set up the way. Um, okay, so, yes, set, set table is definitely a mess, and I apologize for that, but this is the best we're going to be able to do. So, let's get into it. Okay. There she is. I'll have to organize more of these bases. Um, and that's it for... This drawer, I believe, unless there's any other character that needs to be Nope, we're good. Okay. On to the next drawer. Journey of the Soul Characters and Mission. Journey of the Soul and that's where Amy and Claire are. Victoria. We've got Merlin that goes in here. He is there. We've got Amy Claro that goes on this side. If I remember correctly, one of the coaches that are over here is Miles. Victoria. We're gonna put Rose in here. This man is the one. got this one filled in, to an extent. Uh, take this Thomas and we're going to take Caitlin and put him behind, put her behind him. So there before we've got them there. So Edward Chronicles Edward will go next to them. Um, Henry will go next to Edward. Um, Gordon's Tender for right now is going to sit there. Um, I don't have space for Gordon at the moment, but we will take older James, put him back on his chassis block, whatever the letter. James is under repairs at the moment, so, and will be modified for Citadel Chronicles to come uh, next year. Um, what else are we going to throw in here? Any other character we need to throw in here? Oh yeah, Philip. I don't have a use for him. Well, I did. He's just not in the series. Well, I don't have a use for him at the moment, okay? I, I really don't. Okay, so that's it. We've got, I think that's it for all the models that are here. Think? Yeah, pretty sure. Okay. Actually, I will put I put this one in. And if I need the face, I know where the face is at. Right here. It's just an angry Gordon face. I have Gordon. So, that's most of the characters. 
On to the time lapse period of where I actually start taking the set down. Hi guys, JB Dolan, and I am back with the second half of this um, thing. So today, well, I had filmed. A teaser for, um, or not a teaser, a clip for, or a scene for a you know, future Soto Chronicles episode. So I need to get the rest of the engines picked up. So from that, so once we get that, we will be back with picking up the set itself. So let's get ready. Well, now we're going to get into the time lapse. Hi guys, and as you saw at the end of that, we finished cleaning off the entire set. Uh, uh, we are building a new set, and it is Ellsbridge, because it is needed for a future Soda Chronicles episode. I would love to show a time lapse of building that, but at this current time, this video is run short. Um, as, since this is the end of the year, I'd like to take my many thanks to my friends. First off, I'd like to thank Mega Hedgehog X. He is one of my closest friends and he's really helped out this year entirely. Doug, I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done, or every scene that you've filmed for the Soto Chronicles, every voice that you've done, everything that you've done to help me better as a person. I take it gratefully and it's been two and a half years now since I met you. so. I thank you greatly for the last two and a half years. It's been great, man. Um, I'd like to thank Jesh specifically. Jesh, you've really helped me with like all my story writing capabilities and you've helped me come up with just things that actually help me feel like I know how to write a story. Your writing skills are amazing and I, and I, and I couldn't ask for a better friend who could be a writer 
you, Jess, you could write stories and you could be famous one day. I'd like to thank Seb as well. Seb, I'd really honestly, you've you've given me a lot of laughs this year. And personally, I'm glad that you I, I have you as a friend. It really means, it really means a lot to me that you've, after all the laughs and stuff you've given me this year. Sometimes you get on my nerves, but I still love you, man. You're still a good friend. Uh, Barrett. Barrett, you're really close to me, man, and I'm really, th thank you for all the voices that you've given to help towards my projects and stuff like that, specifically Edward, and thank you for letting me do December Fog. It was a really fun thing to do. Um, who else am I gonna thank? Liam, specifically. Liam, thank you for letting me make the Tommy Tells Thomas. Made, it made me feel really good inside that you're gonna be using it in the future. You've been really close this year, and I I'm glad we've been able to have so many adventures with Sodor Chronicles, Tomy Tales, Magic Railroad. After all the stuff we found out this year, this is crazy. Um, Luke, dang, where where do I begin with you, man? You've been there, you've been there almost around the same amount of time as Mega, and I, I can't believe I I'm saying this, but like, you both you and Doug have helped me through so much, and I wouldn't be here without you today. Um, I'd also like to thank some others, the entire. Festive Grotto Associates, you guys are literally my family. Thank you for treating me like an actual father. I'd love to be <laughs> act like a father towards you guys. It's fun. Um, Thomas Forces Group as well. Um, yeah, and you guys are just great too. Um, I'd like to thank Farclaw, uh, everybody in there, um, Annie, Vincent, Garnet, Reagan, Luke, you know, all you guys. You guys are so... You guys are awesome. Honestly, awesome. I'd like to thank my family for helping me through so much this year. Um, specifically, my dad. He's helped me through a lot this year. He helped me build my new table, and I was really thankful for that. Um, I'd like to thank my friends. My friends Dylan, Lana, Davion. I'd like to thank them, too. But this, last but not least, I'd like to give my last thanks of the year to Kiana. Hun... I didn't think I'd be here today. I really didn't. And I'd like to thank you for everything that you have done. Everything that you have tried. Everything that you have... Did. I want to thank you for your love, your motivation, and your kindness. Everything that you've shown towards me has helped me become... A, has made me feel better to this day. I... I finally have fixed myself, and I, I thank you for that. I love you, and I, you know that. But without your love, your motivation, and your helpfulness, I don't think I'd be here today. As the last and final thank you of this year, I'm glad it was you. I miss you. And that's it for Dolan Films of 2020. I'd like to thank you all for 5.5 thousand subscribers and everything, and over 3 million views, guys. Hell yeah. I hope you guys have a good 2021, a Merry New Year, or well, a Happy New Year, not a Merry New Year, what the fuck? A Happy New Year, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, and I hope that school starts out for everybody well in the new year. This is JB Dolan, also known as Dolan Films, signing out for the last time in 2020.